Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today for the third Alliance War of Season 40. Today GT40 is facing Salty, and I have got a team of Hercules, White Magneto and Immortal Hulk who is just there to give me three extra charges at the start of fights with Herc. So this first fight up is honestly probably the one I was most worried about in this whole war, at least like when I was planning it. This is a man thing on node, I believe it's node 2. So he has right back at it and Evan Flow knockdown. And my plan going into this fight was essentially just parry heavy special 3. I was expecting the special 3 to pretty much finish him off. Here I just, I, I was thinking about just waiting for that posture to end but decided it's probably not worth it. So I just go back to my parry heavy. If I can, I want to land an intercept in this fight, just to get an extra charge. But yeah, throw the special free here. I haven't landed an intercept yet at this point. And I believe this finishes him off from pretty much half health. Yeah, so that's like over 100k damage from that special free, if you include the burst damage. So I probably should have gone for an intercept at some point in that fight just to get the extra charge. But overall it isn't a big deal. Next up I have Spider Ham on node 11. And this is a really simple fight. I pretty much, as long as I use my special one as soon as I get it, that is literally all there is to this. So get my intercept off there, go for the infuriate special one. And yeah, even even like 15 seconds into the fight, he's almost down. Protection comes back on here. Knock it down with a heavy attack and a couple more hits and he'll be down. So third fight of this war is going to be Icarus on node 19. So he has Everflow knocked down right back at it and Aggression Prowess. So pretty much the only thing here is don't push him to special 2, keep baiting the special 1s. He is a global defender however, this fight is going to be so fast that it hardly comes into play. There I don't even know if I meant to land an intercept but I did. Here I throw the special 1 to get the protection off. And now I just need to bait out the special 1. And he should go down pretty soon after. 1% left, just tap his block and he goes down. So next up is a rank 5 spot on node 22. And I do not play this fight great. I do have an Odin pre-fight here. And my Herc is fairly ramped at this point. With the Ihawk Synergy I've got 7 charges. Uh, for some reason going into this fight I thought that he started in the shock phase. So for, I go for way too many hits here. Also get really unlucky on the incinerate RNG. Take 4 out of 6 of the hits as incinerates. Then I realise the yeah, is in the incinerate phase. I need to calm down on the hits. So I do that. Throw another special one here. And you can just see the amount of damage that Herc is outputting here. And this isn't even at max ramp. There I missed the special one punish. Here I probably should have waited a little bit longer. Because I could have saved myself around 20% health if I just waited, baited another heavy and started hitting in the shock phase. But overall it is a pretty safe fight even if you don't play it great. So next up is Apocalypse on the 23. I believe this is a rank 5 Apocalypse as well. And the plan for this fight is essentially just to hit his block relatively often, especially after he uses specials. So trigger by Infuriate there, it's special 1. Good to push him up to special 2 here. Luckily he doesn't use it while I had the bleed active. I probably should have gone into this fight without the bleed suicides active as well. There I just decide to block the special 2, because... The only real way that I'm probably going to die here is if I take a special to the face. Here I get rooted but the long special 1 animation pretty much eats up all of the root timer. Trigger my infuriate here. 
Special 2 intercept, I've still got the precision active from my special 1 and the special 2 finishes him off with a 47k crit. So, my section 2 fights, I had path 7, I had Kingpin and Penny there, both of them were really easy fights and I actually just was listening to music over them for some reason, completely forgot that I needed to record this and can't be bothered to deal with trying to separate it away or anything, so they're pretty boring fights anyway. So straight to the Boss Island matchups. This is Annihilus on Nave 48 and I mess up there, he could have used a special free. But luckily I noticed early enough I think I like threw four lights or something instead of medium light 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 medium. Don't really know what happened, but yeah. He goes down alright. This is Nova on the Conflictor miniboss. And this fight is just going to go down really fast. My Herc is max ramp at this point, I believe. Yeah, 12 charges. I'm really heavily boosted because at this point in the war was still 0-0 zero to zero and there were not that many fights left on either side. So we'll get into that in a bit. But yeah, this Nova fight, I'm basically just looking for my first opening. I don't want to trigger Infuriate because this is Conflictor. And yeah, he's going to go down really fast. So bait out the special one here, get my opening, go for an intercept. Special one intercept, get the precisions active. And here he just gives me a free opening and yeah, he goes down in around 30 seconds. And now for my final fight of the war, I have this rank 4 Nick Fury boss with Herc. And... Initially, my plan for this was basically special 1 into special 2, and then in second life, throw a second special 2 to take him down, use cosmic power boost so that the first special 2 would get me back to a good amount of power. But with the war as close as it was, I decided that I was just going to play this fight really, really slow. So I'm not even going to be going for special intercepts or anything like that. Here I just combo into special 1, push him to his special 2. And that is pretty much going to be the rotation for this whole fight. So I have the Odin pre-fights, which are going to be the protection one especially. It's going to be really nice if I get hit. Because the boss node with the opportunist node and the flourish buffs as well as adaptive, they do hit really hard. So the Odin protect is going to stop me from basically being one comboed. And yeah, even playing really slow... Max ramp rank 5 Herc with 4 suicides is just, the damage output is crazy. So here he's got 6 flourish buffs, I decide to hit his block. Need to bait out the special 2 and one more combo should take him into his second life. And the good thing about this is that when he goes into second life he also loses the buffs from adaptive. So at this point he's not going to hit that hard if I mess up or take too many hits into block. Another combo into special 1, push him to special 2. And yeah, about a minute and a half into this fight and he is almost down in his second life. So yeah, not too bad of a fight at all to be honest. Combo into another special 1 and yeah. Just need to bait out the special 2 and tap him down. Or just hit his block and kill. And yeah, so it's pretty clean war from me overall. But yeah, as you can see here, score is 0-0, zero to zero. we've got one fight left. So this is in my battle group, I believe it's Murph taking this Nimrod with Nebula. It's the last fight of the war, pretty much everyone in the Alliance is watching this fight at this point. We have the time win, so if we solo this we win. And it will be the first 0-0 zero zero war ever. And we do get the solo on this fight. So, yeah. Final score of the war, we win 0-0. Zero to zero. So, as I said, I believe this is the first ever completely deathless 300 to a war that's happened in high tiers. Huge, well played to Salty. Probably hurts quite a lot to lose on zero deaths. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in more 4.